Hi everyone and welcome to episode 6 of the Beta Battle at Aston Villa with me, the United City FM. Welcome along. So we've been through the January transfer window in our first season with Villa. Spoiler alert, not a lot happened. Although at the back end of it, things have gone a little bit awry. We've picked up some fairly lengthy injuries. Today we play Southampton. Let's see how we get on. Welcome back to Villa. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that like button on this episode if you could. That would help me get seen by more people. If you're enjoying the content, that would be great. And it will all keep you updated as to what I release and when I release it. So that would be fantastic. But let's dive back into Villa because it has been a little bit of a mixed bag. Results have been pretty good. If we go into the schedule, the fixture list, and just check out what we've been doing through January, you can see that after the Leeds United game that we were together for last in the previous episode where we got a 2-2 draw, we did drop a couple of points at the beginning of January. We played West Ham and Bournemouth in the FA Cup. So we dropped points in the uh, Premier League against West Ham. The performance wasn't fantastic. It drifted over to Bournemouth. We rotated the 11 for that game a little bit as well. And we came a cropper in the FA Cup. Really disappointing, to be honest. I thought we had enough to go through. But at that point, it started to go a little bit awry. Danny Ings picked up a three-week injury, three to four weeks, and he's only just coming back from it now. And just after the transfer window had finished, having played Watford, Burnley and Wolves and actually got three really good results, we've had a couple more injuries. So both Matty Target and Ing, uh, Mings, sorry, Tyro Mings, are both out. Mings for about three weeks uh, target for about six weeks unfortunately so that's two of our back four that are now injured so we've got a little bit of a challenge ahead of ourselves because on the horizon also after today's match against Southampton in the Premier League we've got Liverpool Tottenham and Man United all in a row so that's gonna be a little bit tricky but we'll see how we do today away at Southampton uh, is not a bad place for us to be going really. We'll go and check in with the league table and you will see that we're sitting in fourth position after a good run of form with Arsenal and the two Manchester clubs ahead of us and Southampton down in 15th position at the moment. So that's a, a pretty decent side for us to hopefully get three points um, from ahead of going to those much, much tougher fixtures. So today, Southampton... January window, we didn't buy anybody, we didn't sell anybody. The finances of the club aren't actually that strong just at the moment. They spent a lot of money this pre uh, in the first summer before I even arrived, remember. So we haven't done anything there, but let's get into today's match. So right down to the bottom of the page, you will see the injuries that we got. And there are a few of them. We've also got a suspension, unfortunately. Louise picked up too many yellow cards, so he's going to be out today. But yeah, Mings, he's out for anywhere up to three weeks. Aguilar is just coming back from a knock. We've got Target out up to six weeks, unfortunately. Trezeguet, who was on a long-term injury, remember? We brought him back in. We've treated him kind of with uh, wrapped up in cotton wool. But even so, he picked up another knock for a couple of days. But... He has played a game for us and looked pretty good doing it, to be honest. He's going to be very useful to us in this second half of the season when we can properly get him back to match fitness. Danny Ings, as I say, had a layoff three to four weeks, but he's just on his way back. He could play a little bit today, but I won't be making him. I'm just putting him on the bench because there's no one else available really to put on the bench. Uh, so we've had to rotate a few players in and around the squad just a little bit. Liam Delap is in the striking position at the moment. He's done okay recently for us. Got a really cracking goal in one of the recent games. So hopefully he can uh, just sort of um, get on a little bit in terms of his development if we're going to give him some game time. But for today's match against Southampton in the Premier League, we go with Martinez in goal, Cash at right back, Concert and House in central defence, Young at left wing back, we've got Nakamba, uh, McGinn and Sanson in central uh, midfield, Traore on the right, El Ghazi on the left and Delap up top with nine players on the bench all waiting to make an impact if they can. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. <laughs> So 
So for Team Talks, I've gone with Pump the Fist. It's trying to rile them up a little bit. We're away from home, but it's a good opposition for us. Southampton currently sit in 19th place within the form guide, us in 6th. So we're going to try and show them why. That's the team talk I gave. So let's go through the tunnel. We'll send the assistant to that and get straight into the fixture. Uh, those that have noticed that uh, Buendia and Bailey are on the bench today and wondering why that might be, considering we've had to rotate a couple of other players in and around as well, it's simply because I need them to be playing really well for the next three matches. And this is the last opportunity I could get to rotate the squad before we go into that series of very tricky fixtures where they're going to have to play all three of them in a row, really. So today was that chance for us just to rest a couple of players and see if we can get a good performance against a team that is obviously struggling just at the moment having said that they've broken through the lines Adams threw into the box pushes out wide slightly so eventually we got a defender back just to um, just to put some pressure on him but yeah they're in 19th position in the form guide so I'm hoping that we'll get a decent performance out of our guys today and a decent uh, win from it in the end even if we start a little bit slowly which we seem to have done 14 minutes on the clock and it's just a little bit um, passive from us so far Southampton with another opportunity here just to pass the ball around and try and open up the space and they do but that's a fantastic block I think by concert in the box in the box in the end that puts it out for a corner kick but we are under an awful lot of pressure a back post header from the corner kick goes straight into the um, goalkeeper's clutches which is good but you can see 18 minutes in we've had no shots at goal we've had a little bit of possession but Really not very good so far against a, a weaker opposition, really. One that really seems to be struggling just at the moment and we're not taking advantage of it. Half an hour in and we do register our first shot, but it's not on target. I'm going to go into the shouts, I think, and just fire them up for the last sort of 10 minutes of this first half. See if we can find a way to get going properly. We're going to move the... Uh, uh, mentality up into positive from balance as well just to see if we can get moving on that one it's all just a little bit nothingy unfortunately Southampton at the moment haven't quite made us pay for it but here's another chance for them they missed out on that crossed opportunity but they keep the ball and that's another thing that we're not doing on this particular performance we're not picking up those loose balls in midfield it's always going back to a Southampton uh, team member it seems We've got a good shape to our defence, but even so, they're passing the ball very nicely. Can we find a way to nick it and counter-attack? We could have then. There looked like an opportunity momentarily, but we didn't take it. They worked it to the near post, and then the cross goes into the uh, centre of the penalty spot. And there's a really good shot by Diallo, and it goes slightly narrowly wide. And we get away with another one there. Six shots at goal, two on target for them. Two and one for us in that first half. I'm going to have to dig them out here. This is not good enough. This is not what we expect. So I'm going to actually thrash the arms about. Uh, isn't good enough, absolutely unacceptable. We're going to have to go back in and do something about this. So into the shouts we go. We're going to demand more from them at the beginning of this second half and see if we can get off to a quicker start in this second half. If we don't, we're going to have to change it up a little bit. Because of all the injuries that we picked up, we actually have about three strikers sitting on the bench that we could put a couple of them on and go three up top potentially and boot the ball to them and see if we can win anything through there. But I don't really want to have to do that. I want to work on the style of play that we've got going that's got us into fourth place in the league and find a way to break down this Southampton side. But they're the ones breaking us down. They find a way to win the ball back from our highlight and they come back at us and they're keeping the ball so much better than we are. We've had lots of possession, but we haven't done much with it. That's a good challenge in the back line, though. Eventually, we finally come out with the ball again and we, <laughs> and we lose it again. Oh dear, this is not good enough. And again, they've wasted their opportunity. They could have just continued to pass it around, continue to move forward and uh, eventually get a better opportunity than that. They chose to take an early shot and it was uh, to their detriment, really. But we are not, really not playing well. At 60 minutes, I'm going to have to go in and make some changes fairly early in the game comparative to what I normally do because this is not good. And having rested them, it's obvious that we're going to have to put our wingers back in again. Al Ghazi on a 6.3. That's awful. So Bailey can go in for him. We've also got Delap on a 6.2. Now, 
I'm sure we've talked about this in the previous episode and the one before that or whatever. I can't get goals out of my strikers. I just can't get them. Danny Ings is doing fine, but he's got like 7 in 17 or something. It's just, yeah. And Delap and uh, Ollie Watkins both want game time, etc. But they're not doing it when they get it. We're going to have to change things up here, I feel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Sanson out and we're going to put Watkins in and we're going to go to the 4-4-2. Uh, so we're going to switch Triori up. We're going to put Watkins up alongside Delap. Um, we're going to put Young back in the left fullback position, moving Camber up a little bit and still play him as the ball-winning midfielder. Uh, so there... That's what we're going to do, I think, and get a little bit more attacking down the wide areas. So if we move him into an attacking setup as well, I think that should do okay. Ollie Watkins, do I want him as the deep lying? Probably not. Well, let's put him on as an attacking pressing forward. That should do. Uh, but we'll now have to change the tiki tacker as well. We're going to go wide play. We're going to try and work down the wings a little bit and get some crosses in. Avoid the centre uh, area where it feels like Southampton have been winning a lot of their balls. So we've made a couple of changes. We've still got one we can make later on should we get an injury or need to change it up again for any other reason. But this is really not good enough. 64 minutes on the clock and we are so extraordinarily meh. So that's my technical term for the day. We are meh. 70 minutes in. Nothing has changed. We've still only had three shots on target the entire match. With 15 minutes to play, we're going to have to change it again in a second if something doesn't quite work here. But there's the chance. McGinn through to Bailey down this left-hand side into the box. And he sweeps it across goal, unfortunately. Nobody to his right was really properly making a good run for him to... Uh, cross it into so he had to take the shot on we're going to pause it again go back into the tactics and we're going to have one more go at changing this up and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take Traore out and we're actually going to put Danny Ings in we're going to put him right the way through the middle of a top th of a front three if the game will let me drives me nuts when you can't find a way to put them in the middle Come on, third time lucky. Nope, it's still not letting me. <laughs> Drives me to distraction. Happens all the time. You try and line up to the shirt that's on the pitch. <laughs> How many times do you think it's going to take me to get this in? Oh, for goodness sake. Nope, we're going to do it this way then. <laughs> put him back. Put him in. And then put him there. <laughs> It's utterly ridiculous. Anyway, there you go. We will leave it as this. We'll put uh, Ings in as the poacher. Uh, we'll let Watkins play a little bit deeper. Uh, we'll keep Bailey on the left-hand side just because. Why not? And we will see what happens. Uh, let's go through on that one. And we will go back into the shouts. And we are going to go and fire them up for the last little bit. And we're going to go attacking for the last little section. 14 shots at goal. They've had three on target. We've now had six. So that's a little bit better. But only one shot on target in 85 minutes of play is not good enough at all for a team up in fourth position um, with a relegation uh, battling Southampton potentially. Um, but there we go. Conta with a good challenge. But again, they win that second ball. We are not crowding those areas enough to win those balls please don't give a penalty oh please don't give a penalty i think he's gonna give a penalty with five minutes to go the penalty check is coming in and it's been given you kind of saw it coming just on the byline he swept at the player and he just missed the ball and took the player out so from the spot gonzalez has a chance and he takes it goalkeeper goes the wrong way we are going to get absolutely done over here, and rightly so in a lot of ways. I've been really very, very unhappy with the way that we've played today. I know we've rotated some players in. I know it's not our first strength, uh, first 11, but even so, with them in 19th in the form guide, we should have been able to pile the misery onto them. And that just proves again that the, the Premier League actually is quite a tricky league at times. If you don't get it right, 
they can all take advantage of you. And it looks like that's happened today. We get a 1-0 defeat just before going into three really, really very hard fixtures. That's not good enough. And what I would say about this Villa uh, um, squad, as I've said it before in these episodes, first 11 actually is very good. Second 11 is not very good. It's just not. There's no balance to it. There's no real quality in there. I mean... The, the likes of Nkamba, for example, if we just go and check in, in with him for a second, this is my uh, second 11 defensive midfield player. And you can see that he's got some good attributes. His stamina is good. His balance is good. But uh, aggression, I don't really want. Bravery is good. Determination is fantastic. But these technicals are not particularly fantastic. And he's just a bit kind of meh. And he's got a 6.62 average rating for this season. And that says a lot. And that's kind of what we're dealing with. If we were going to do a longer series with Aston Villa, there would be a lot of work to do to actually change this squad and redress the balance of that a little bit. Obviously, we're not going to. It's a short-term beta series. But yeah, if you do an Aston Villa series this um, FM through FM22, let me know and let me know what you did to actually change this second 11 as you move through the first couple of seasons because there's a lot of work to be doing here. Anyway, unfortunately, we lose. We've got some key players injured. We've now got to go into the uh, big fixtures. Hopefully, um, some of our bigger players can come to the fore and actually do something there. But for today... Quite disappointing. So, unfortunately, after that performance, we do drop down a spot in the league. Liverpool have overtaken us, kind of accepting that, really, at this point, because it was such a poor, passive performance from us. The other thing to say, Danny Ings is really not doing it. That's another um, part of a game that he's not scored in. I've had to have a word with him in about his form. Leon Bailey is now the top goal scorer in the club with nine goals. That's not acceptable for having spent the money that Villa did on Ings. I expect more from him for this coming second half of the season, really. Other than that, we've got this really, really hard run of games. Let's not go into the scouting. That is the wrong button to press. Lots of pro moves from me today. Uh, but let's go back into the schedule instead and see what we can do. There's our run of form. It's not been bad at all. We've been very good this season mostly. But just recently, it's gone off the boil a little bit. We now have Liverpool, Tottenham, Man United. We're going to come back and play the Leicester City game. Uh, that's the one that we're going to come back for. So I'm going to go through this really tricky run of fixtures, hopefully get a point or two here and there. If I could come out with, what have we got? Four games between now and Leicester. If I could come out with, what, six points? That would be pretty, pretty good, I think, from those sort of fixtures. But we'll have to see whether we can do that. Uh, Leicester City is going to be as difficult when we get to them as well. Yeah, things are beginning to take a little bit of a turn for the worse, unfortunately. We kept all our players in January, which I was delighted about, but I really couldn't improve the squad. I tried. It just didn't work out. I had a couple of irons in fires, but there we go. That's just the way it is. So for now, we focus on our form, trying to get that back to consistency again. But Liverpool, Tottenham and Man United might have something to say about that. Thank you for joining me today. Really, really disappointing. But there we go. It happens sometimes. I hope you're doing fantastically well in your own saves with uh, the FM22 beta. Let me know in the comments about what you've been doing yourself. Always interested to hear that. Uh, but until next time, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to uh, click a like on this particular episode. Go and check all of my links in the description below to all of my social medias, etc. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you uh, very soon. Bye for now.